How many men at this post, Sergeant? Five, sir. For a total at all outposts of... Captain Stanton reporting, sir. Oh, yes, Stanton. Glad you were able to make your way back here. Be with you in a moment. For a total of uh, almost three troops, was the disposition of the outpost patrols your idea, Captain? Yes, sir. Our post patrol all passes leading onto the reservation. The men entrusted to your command were then spread out over an area of approximately 100 miles. Is that correct? That's right, sir. What do you suppose would have happened if Victorio decided to break out of the reservation in force? I don't think you have to worry about that, sir. They would have been massacred, sir. Slaughtered without a chance to defend themselves. Sergeant, do I understand when the sun is high as at the present that you can send heliograph messages to all outposts? That's right, sir. Then flash this signal at once. Ordering all patrols to break camp and return here immediately. Yes, sir. In case of an uprising, Captain, I shall have a strong mobile fighting unit ready to meet force with force, as I did against the Kiowas. Colonel, an Apache is ten times a warrior a Kiowa is. An Apache looks on war as sort of a religion. Exactly. And how could you have controlled them with your squadron spread all over the territory? I don't think there'll be any trouble, sir. As long as we have patrols guarding the reservation against the greedy white element, Victorio is no saint, but he'll keep his word if we'll keep ours. The last time I heard an officer express such a ridiculous opinion, 350 men of his squadron were slaughtered two days later. I'm sure you know the officer responsible was your father. If I hadn't been assigned to uh, company headquarters as junior officer, I would have been one of them. Since I'm being relieved, Colonel, may I have a copy of my orders? Yes, Captain. You will remain on here as my adjutant. Have your orderly gather your personal effects. Good day, sir. The colonel's orders were carried out. The outposts were called back to headquarters. Say just one word off the record. What is it? Well, sir, I've been in the service a long time. But of all the backbite and string pull and conniving politic and I ever seen this speech at all. And after all you've done to keep the peace out here. I suppose the men all feel the same way. Yes, sir, they sure do. Well, let me tell you something, sir. If I ever hear you or any of the men say one word against our commanding officer, I'll string you up by the heels to the nearest tree. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I get ready to stand inspection. Yes, sir. Detail, folks! 